What's going on guys? This is Brian. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, set up your exporter buttons to work within FL Studio if you're using any of the native instruments A series or S series MIDI controllers. Um, this is something that I've found to be a common issue um, with these MIDI controllers that the transport the transporter functions don't work off the bat so there's a couple of things that you have to do within FL Studio to make sure they work. Um, before I get into that I'm just going to show you quickly um, what I've got here. I've got the Native Instruments M32. Um, this is a 32 key mini key uh, MIDI controller um, from Native Instruments. It's got rotary knobs, um, encoder knob, so transporter functions over there, and your touch strips there, that's modulation and pitch bend. And then it's got a little display as well to just show you what it is that you're doing so that you don't necessarily have to look at your screen. And at the back, very simple, sustain or foot pedal control, and then your USB over there. Small, compact, um, you know, can easily be carried around, throw it into your backpack, take it over to a friend's studio, do some music. Very, very easy, very, very cool little piece of equipment here. Another thing I like about it is it's super smart. Um, so it's got some very good uh, uh, smart functions in here. Um, also, you are able to control, uh, complete control with this little keyboard. So everything you can do, well, most of the stuff you can do on the bigger ones, including the A-series uh, MIDI controllers, you can do on this little guy right here. Um, so today I'm just gonna show you how best to set this up for FL Studio so that you're, you're able to use most of the buttons here to control FL Studio. It's quite easy. So first, what you have to do is plug in your controller. Once it's plugged in, it lights up like that, and then boom, it's ready to go. Um, it's also important to note that once you've plugged it in, you need to update the firmware. So once you've updated the firmware for the unit, then you're able to, to get started with setting it up in FL Studio. So you're gonna go to Options over here, and then you go to MIDI Settings. And inside MIDI Settings, you should be able to see your M32, complete control M32, or whatever hardware you've connected, you should be able to see it, whether it's the A49, A61, uh, A25, or the S49 or S61 or S88, you should be able to see it pop up here on this list. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do, make sure complete control is installed, that is inside native access, so you would open native access, find complete control, install that and then you're ready to go that's literally the driver that'll work for all the complete control uh midi keyboards cool once you've done that we're gonna go over here select our m32 make sure it's selected like that and make sure it's enabled so that you're able to use the m32 as a controller over here you can leave it as it is under generic controller no need to change anything there but down here where it says complete control m door that's where your changes are going to come in so make sure it's enabled and in your controller type list you're going to look for mackie control universal click on that make sure it's set to mackie control universal and then select a port i've selected port um, 102 um, so you can select whatever port you want just to avoid any conflicts with any other hardware that you have connected and that's it once you've done that the transport controls on your keyboard should work with fl studio um, sometimes you may need to reboot fl studio so close and open it again cool so once you restart it it should be working now so if you pay attention to this red button over here if i press record see it activates if i press record it deactivates if i press play it comes it plays press stop and it stops and that's literally how you set up your uh, transfer controls to work in fl studio um, if you want to use the rotary knobs for anything so let's say 
you want to assign them to the mixer so you just go over here right click and then say link to controller and then you just touch one of the knobs and there we go so my first rotary knob controls channel one's volume for channel two i just select it there link to controller and there we go channel two same thing for this one link to controller there we go channel three uh, you can also go as far as using some of these knobs to control certain parameters on your um, plugin so let's say i'm using uh, where, let's say let's go for one with a few knobs let's say i'm using uh, this synth right here this oscillator here i could say i want this knob to be controlled by the fourth rotary knob on my midi controller and boom it's that easy and so on and so forth so you can assign um different functions to different parts of your midi keyboard um and use them in that way that's pretty much how um i would use the m32 inside the fl studio don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get a notification every time we post a video stay safe guys cheers thanks for watching Thank you.